वेलकम अगेन हियर आई एक्सप्लेन क्रिच ऑफ वोल्टेज लॉ ए वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन इन विच देर इज ए बैटरी एंड ए रेजिस्टेंस कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज सो आई एक्सप्लेन हियर क्रिच ऑफ वोल्टेज लॉ आई एम टेकिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम हियर टेन वोल्ट बैटरी इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट we will naming the edges of the circuits means a b c d you can take a b c d either clockwise or anti clockwise so after naming you can assume current either clockwise or either anti clockwise so in question this i make first the current clockwise and assume i1 it is mash or loop all the smallest unit of a closed path is called mash and the largest unit of a closed path is called loop i explained more in next lecture so here uh, this is loop and also this is a mash so here we explain some terminology how to solve this question if there is a resistance 5 ohm and a current i is flowing from left to right we can make plus sign at at the terminal of when the current is entering and at the current leaving there is a sign of minus in the same resistance if current is flowing from uh, right to left so we can make positive sign here because it is the entering point of the current this is i and the leaving terminal is minus so in this question when we take this is uh, a simplest problem this is positive this is negative mark polarity on each element except current source so here current is entering from this side so branch current is i1 so this is positive this is negative so we can show the terminal polarity on each element so start apply kvl here start from a b c d a in mash 1 m1 so start from a pick the polarity of each element the last one means this is the first and this is the last when we travel from a to b the last polarity is plus plus of 10 volt next terminal minus of i into r i is in the term in this resistance is i1 and the resistance is 5 ohm is equal to 0 when we solve this 5 i1 is equal to 10 and i1 is equal to 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 ampere if the same problem and the convention is again the same i1 m1 and current entering from this side this is i1 this is positive this is negative and this is positive this is negative but i can write the equation from and b to again b anti clockwise means i write the equation apply kvl start from a d c b a means anti clockwise so here this is plus 5 ohm into i1 means start from here this is the first element in the last terminal is plus plus of 5 into i1 and next element this is battery and the last terminal is minus 10 is equal to 0 so here 5 i1 is equal to 10 i1 is equal to 10 divided by 5 and that is 2 ampere so here the first uh, assumption either we will take current clockwise and solve the question in the same direction or the same question solve using anti clockwise means apply kvl either clockwise either 
or anti clockwise by making polarity that the answer will be same now in this question again many of the students uh, having some doubt this battery is always uh, supply the current but here we assume the current in anti clockwise means the wrong assumption as per our thought so again making the polarity here this is i1 this is positive this is negative and this is positive this is negative apply kvl once again apply kvl start from a b c d a close path again m1 so apply kvl start from a the last terminal of this battery plus 10 volt here plus 5 into i1 is equal to 0 so 5 i1 is equal to minus 10 and i1 is equal to minus 10 divide by 5 this is equal to minus 2 ampere so the same question we solve in three different way here we assume the current clockwise apply cable clockwise here we assume the current clockwise and apply cable anti clockwise and here we assume the current clockwise and apply the cable clockwise the answer in both case number 1 and case number 2 are same and here in third the answer is negative because the direction of current in third is differ from first and second here it is clockwise and here it is anti clockwise in this way the answer is again reflected in minus 2 means you do not need to uh, uh, assume uh, either clockwise or anti clockwise your answer will be reflected in the same way thank you so much we will solve more problem more typical problem in the next lecture